Hello students, welcome to 8th lecture of D and F block elements competitive. So today we are going to discuss about uh, mercury and its uh, compounds. So occurrence and extraction of mercury. So cinnabar is the only important ore of mercury. It is concentrated by froth flotation method and mercury is extracted from this ore by heating it in air with 773 to 873 Kelvin temperature. So it follows auto reduction process HGS with oxygen it gives HG and SO2. We know that mercury is usually in liquid state. It is one of the metal which is in liquid state. So mercury vapors thus obtained are condensed to give liquid metal. Mercury thus obtained contains impurity of zinc, steam, lead etc. These are removed by treating the impure metal with dilute HNO3. Mercurous nitride Hg2NO3 twice thus formed react with metal present as impurity forming their nitrates which pass into the solution leaving behind the pure mercury. However, it is best purified by distillation under reduced pressure. So comparatively removal of impurity will be easier in this case because all the other metals are in solid state whereas pure liquid metal is mercury. So that means at normal temperature you will get mercury in liquid state and uh, with a slightly higher temperature we can even vaporize the mercury. But certain compounds are also will be volatile. So that's why they will be present as impurity. So we have to further purify them. So reactions are mentioned as mentioned Hg with HNO3 gives Hg to NO3 and uh, zinc like metals with HgNO3 twice gives ZnNO3 twice and Hg. So in this reaction again reactivity of zinc will be more that's why it will convert itself into iron and mercury will be reduced. Similar reaction is given by lead and tin. Now property of mercury. So usually we know that it is the liquid so mercury is less reactive than zinc. It is a liquid at room temperature and has low thermal and electrical conductivity. Mercury forms dimeric mercury 1 ion Hg2 2 plus. In this case we have two mercury ions both having plus 1 oxidation state. In which two atoms are bonded by covalent bond. It is slowly oxidized to HgO at about its boiling point. Hg does not react with dilute HCl or H2SO4 but react with hot concentrated H2SO4 to form HgSO4. It reacts with uh, both dilute and concentrated HNO3 evolving NO and NO2 respectively as we can see in these reactions. So Hg does not react with steam or water hence can't uh, form any hydroxides. So compounds of mercury first is mercury oxide it can be obtained as a red solid by heating mercury in air or oxygen for a long time. So simple reaction Hg plus O2 gives HgO red colors compound or by heating mercury nitrate alone or in presence of mercury. So Hg, uh, HNO3 twice in presence of mercury or alone it gives HgO and releases NO2 and O2 gases. When NOH is added to the solution of HgCl2 yellow precipitates of HgO are obtained as the reaction suggests HgO in yellow precipitated form will be obtained. Red and yellow forms of HgO differs only in their particle sizes. On heating 673 yellow form changes to red form. So particle decides color of the compound although both of them are same. Just the size of their particles that means bunch of mercury oxide ions uh, sorry molecules will decide the color of compound. And it is used in oil paints or as a mild antiseptic in ointments. So usually mercury metal is poisonous for us. But in these type of formations it can be used as treatments or drugs. So next one mercury chloride it is obtained by heating mercury with Cl2 or by heating with NaCl and Hg, uh, HgSO4 in presence of small amount of MnO2 which oxidizes Hg1 salt forming during the reaction. So HgSO4 that means it is in plus 2 oxidation state 
with NaCl gives HgCl2 and Na2SO4. It is white crystalline solid and it is commonly known as corrosive sublimate. And uh, it is covalent compound since it dissolves in organic solvent like ethanol and ether. It is extremely poisonous and cause, uh, can cause death. Its best antidote is white of an egg. When treated with the stannous chloride, it is first reduced to white precipitate of mercury chloride and then to mercury black colored. So, as the reaction suggests. With ammonia, it gives white, precip uh, white precipitates as the infusible white PPTs. HgCl2 with NH3, it gives HgNH2Cl and NH4Cl. A dilute solution of HgCl2 is used as antiseptic. So, mercury compounds are also poisonous. Some of the compounds are poisonous but still can be used as drugs or medicines. But they are still poisonous or they can form poisonous compounds even after the contact with body. So, we should be careful when using these type of mercury compounds. Next one, mercury iodide. It can be pro obtained when HgCl2 reacts with potassium iodide and it gives HgI2. Below 400 Kelvin, HgI2 is red but above 400 Kelvin, it turns yellow. So, again same thing, it depends on particle size and it is inter uh, interconvertible. HgI2 readily dissolved in excess of Ki solution to form HgI4 2- which is a complex compound which will be neutralized by potassium. So that means we can say that it is a one type of addition reaction. When HgI2 reacts with Ki, we have total 4 moles of, of iodine which donates electron pair in empty orbital of mercury and they form coordinate covalent bond. Oxidation state of mercury will be plus 2, iodine shows minus 1 oxidation state that means 4 will show minus 4. And for neutralization we need 2 potassium ions. So overall 0 oxidation state is maintained. An alkaline solution of K2HgI4 is called Nessler's reagent and it is used for to test NH4 plus ion. That means during the inorganic qualitative analysis when we have NH4 plus ion present as positive ion, then we can use Nessler's reagent to identify its presence. So this compound will be used by us during the inorganic qualitative analysis practicals. It gives a brown precipitates of NH2HgO HgI iodide of Milan's base with NH4 plus ion. So it gives precipitate that means if precipitates of brown colors are obtained then it represents NH4 plus will be present. And if you do not get brown colored precipitates with Nessler's reagent then your solution do not contain NH4 plus. That's how we can identify presence of NH4 plus. So reaction is mentioned when K2HgI4 reacts with NH3 in presence of KOH it gives NH4 HgO HgI which gives brown colored precipitation. It is used in ointment for treat, uh, treating skin infections. Next, uh, mercurous chloride Hg2Cl2 which shows lower oxidation state of mercury. It is obtained as under Hg2NH3 twice with NaCl gives Hg2Cl2. Just like previous reaction, we get Hg2Cl2. Hg2Cl2 with Hg will give us Hg2Cl2 condenses on the cooling. It is purified by sublimation and uh, mercurous chloride is also called calomel. It is a white powder insoluble in water. On heating it decomposes to give HgCl2 and Hg as this reaction shows. It dissolves in chlorine water forming mer mercuric chloride that means higher oxidation state. If you check the oxidation state of Hg2Cl2 then it will be plus 1. And if you check oxidation state of Hg in HgCl2, then it will be plus 2. So lower oxidation state is called mercurous chloride and higher oxidation state is called mercuric chloride. With ammonia, it turns black due to the formation of a mixture finely divided black Hg and mercury amino chloride. Hg2Cl2 with NH3, it gives Hg, NH2, HgCl which is black in color and NH4Cl. 
It is used to prepare standard calomel electrode and as a purgative in medicine. Zinc sulfide or HGS. The solub solubility product of HGS is lower than that of ZNS and hence it gets precipitated as black solid when H2S is passed through the acidic solution of any mercury to salt. So HGCl2 with H2S it gives HGS and HCl. It is insoluble in water and HCl but it dissolves in aqua regia one part HNO3 three part HCl in concentrated state is known as aqua regia. So aqua regia HCl and HNO3 forms nitrosyl chloride NOCl and nascent chlorine. Nascent chlorine that means free state chlorine atom. Usually nascent chlorine or nascent word represents it is a atomic state of given species and because of its atomic state it contains single electron and because of single electron they are highly reactive so h2s with this type of nascent chlorine will produce hgcl2 and solid sulfur on sublimation its color changes to red and hence it is used as red pigment next mercury sulfate hgso4 it is obtained when HGS is treated with corn H2SO4. So simple reaction Hg plus H2SO4 gives HGSO4, SO2 and H2O. It is white solid which decomposes on heating to give mercurous sulphate HGSO4 to Hg2SO4. It is used as catalyst in hydration of alkenes uh, to give aldehydes or ketones. It is also used as a cosmetic under the name Vermilon and Ayurvedic medicine Makartwaj. Amalgams Mercury forms alloy is commonly known as amalgams. Now usually this name is given to paste like substances. With all the metals except iron and platinum hence it is transported in iron containers. That means if we have any other metal container, it will create paste like substance with it. That means it will destroy the container by forming amalgam of metal used in container. And last one alloy of transition metals. So it is already discussed in metallurgy unit. So you can check it there. Now if you find any confusion regarding to these metals, then feel free to ask. Now all the extra details which are required for this unit are covered but still if you find any unknown questions feel free to ask we will discuss it in detail. Thank you.